video is the first installment of my Make Pastry series. You would have seen my introduction video a couple weeks back. I'm not sure if it's been more than a month, I can't remember, but I think it has been more than a month. Um, I thought I'd jump right in with the first installment video, which is basically titled Research, because if you want to become a makeup artist, one, it's going to be a very expensive route because there's a lot of things that you have to consider if you want to become a makeup artist and obviously do your research to make sure that this is exactly what you want to do. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of tally up a couple of things, key things that I would do in the beginning and what I did in the beginning when I started and when I wanted to become a makeup artist and I thought I'd share with you exactly what I did and how I started so let's get into it. that I did and the first thing that's got me into makeup artistry, this is basically a little inside story of mine, um, was my friend Rachel, she sent me a video, if I'm not mistaken it was a hair tutorial um, that Michelle Fran did, now I wasn't really into YouTube at the time, she literally got me onto that and I remember clicking on her channel and there was some makeup tutorials and I decided to watch them and it just got me inspired and I was like oh hello and I was the kind of girl, all I did was a lip of eyeliner, lip gloss, a clear lip gloss, and that's it. That's all I did. I didn't even do mascara, to be honest, at the age of 14. That all changed when I, once I turned 15, so you can imagine how different and what YouTube did. Like for me, the first thing that I would do is do research, which means YouTube would be your first place to go to if you want to like just learn tips and tricks from other makeup artists. Um, watch videos um, and even get like a couple of like makeup artists or even like gurus, beauty gurus that you like and you like their techniques and you like to watch their tutorials, have a look at them, subscribe to them and just kind of see the tips and tricks and see the tutorials and then you'll be able to get, you'll be able to learn from them as well so I definitely definitely recommend going on to YouTube. So as you almost switch to a clip right now, you're going to see me like literally just watching Candy Johnson, she's one of my favourite original like first kind of YouTubes I used to watch. Um, her alongside Pixie Woo, Sam and Nick are amazing and I definitely recommend Michelle Fun for like the out there, she's like more of the original um, YouTubers out there so those three I definitely recommend as well as Jacqueline Hill, if you have not, if you have no idea who Jacqueline Hill is leave honestly you cannot know who Jacqueline Hill is leave all the links up to those people down below those are ones that I literally tell you to go and watch um, their um, makeup is flawless and um, Candy Johnson's tutorials are just way too high and like the costumes that she comes up with the she can literally manipulate her, her face into anyone and anybody so I definitely recommend you go check out Candy Johnson as well um, but definitely I would recommend checking out YouTube videos and that will give you time to practice and get your own techniques as you go along next I would definitely recommend books and magazines um, at the time when I started getting to makeup artistry I actually subscribed to the makeup man Um, the Makeup Artist Mag. Now this one is obviously known for iMats. This is their like magazine and stuff like that. I did a, I think I did a, like a year, a year or two years. I'm not sure if I did a year or two years to be honest. But I did like um, a subscription with them and every two months I got one of the magazines. Now I have, I've got a number of different ones from them and they are so inspiring, especially if you like effects as well. You get the option to either go for a beauty one or the special effects like cover and then obviously even inside, it's probably di slightly different, I'm not 100% sure. But if you've got different types of like, you've got beauty, you've got makeup stuff, um, this is of the Hunger Games. I've even got stuff with the Hunger Games in this one. Um, so you can just see like all the special effects and like makeup artists, key makeup artists tips and tricks and stuff, I think these are a really good way to start into makeup if you want to like read more about what people use, what makeup artists use and stuff like that. Definitely recommend that. 
Um, also, magazines. Magazines are like something that you need to have a look at. I think personally, you gain a lot of like different tips and tricks and um, fashion shows, what's on the runways, and just kind of adapt and just kind of create, be creative and explore different like ideas. Um, this one is actually from a makeup um, brand. It's called the Makeup Store, and this one is an issue number nineteen, and it's called the Color Issue. Now I really like this because it gives you all these different types of like um, looks and they're like, totally out there and they're totally different. Each time you turn a page there's like someone different and like a different like look and everything and it's very inspiring if you want to kind of be creative and you have like a fashion show or you've got a photo shoot that you want to really like do something different. These kind of magazines do really help. And then lastly, I but not least, are books. Now, I only have two to ha on hand, but any makeup books that you want to try out, I definitely recommend like having a little read, even if you have like a little bedtime reading or something. One I definitely recommend is the Bobby Brown Living Beauty. Now, this, in my opinion, is more um, aimed at like mature skin and how to really look after your skin, etc. And I would say if you know how to, if you can work on a mature skin, you can work on any type of skin, young or anything like that. Um, they always say that it's that it's amazing how you can turn anyone into anybody and make everyone feel so beautiful inside and out. So I definitely recommend you check out the Bobby Brown um, book. It's one of my favourites and I really do love that one. And another one that I had to have to include is the Lauren Conrad. Now this one is the style, though she has the beauty one as well. But I just kind of really like this one because I love her like, like her like pretty much iconic look. So she's got the bold red lip, she's got how to do a liner in here as well somewhere. And it's just like just getting ideas of like doing something simple. Like just by looking at the um, pictures here you kind of get an idea and like just create your own style and be creative and just get inspired by anything and anything. So even if you, even if you read a magazine or a book you can easily just get creative and like this is all your research and then if you're happy with that and if you want to play and then try out makeup and stuff like that and you're really enjoying it then you can move on to schools and like an academy and like get qualified but that will be my next video so I hope you enjoyed this quick um, little research video stay tuned for my next video which will probably be about schools and getting qualified and most probably going to like pro cards and stuff so if you want to know if you want to know more about that, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And if you stayed all the way to this um, minute, do subscribe the button be down below if you haven't already. Um, it means so much to me, it's free, and I know you guys are going to love seeing more of this series. So, thumbs up as I said, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! What it looks like. There are three sizes. This is the big four corners. So basically it looks like this, so you can literally put your hand in and you can reach through any corner to take off.